Hey guys, hit pause here. Uh, just uh, doing a very quick uh, video here for somebody that asked a question on how to get their uh, height map into their alpha channel for their texture. Um, so I don't have really have anything as a sample here, so I just went and grabbed some kind of like Celtic tile off of the internet, Celtic. Um, and you can see it's got a watermark and all that stuff. I, I'm not messing with it. I'm not producing this. I'm not doing anything. I'm just using this as an example, okay? So let's say this is our original diffuse and this is what we want. We want to create. I'll make a very quick height map and then I'll show you how to capture it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dupe the layer. I'm going to hold Alt. I'm just going to drag it up. Okay, and I'm going to hit Control Shift U to turn it grayscale. And then what I'm going to do is I have contiguous here unchecked. All right, and then I can click here in the black, and you'll see I get all black if I have contiguous contiguous checked. Um, well, it'll it'll get it all anyway. But let's say if I do it in the gray here, it'll only get that section. But if I have this off, it will get all gray. Okay, so I want all the black. And what I'll do is I'll just make a new layer here and I'll fill that in with the black. And then below that, I'll go ahead, in fact, I don't even need this layer anymore. Below that, I'll fill that in. So now I have this image. Again, the watermarks are in there and all that stuff. I'm not, I don't care. I'm not going to use this. Let's just assume that it's clean. Um, so what I'll do is I'll give myself some kind of a height. So the first thing I'll do is I'll say, hey, I'm going to give it a color overlay and I want 50% black. Okay. And then I want an inner glow from the center, not to be piss yellow, but white. Okay, and I'll say, let's try precise. Precise probably not a good idea because it's noisy, so we'll keep it soft. And I will mess with the edge until I get what feels like a decent bump map. Okay, like something like around right there. So let's say I like this height map. Everything is dandy, right? I'm actually going to fill the background with 50% black. Okay, so now as you can see, let's see if I hide that, that's 50%. Okay, so the white is going to be raised, right? And there's a kind of a blend to the whole thing. So this will give me some information in a height channel, right? Let's just assume that this is the same height that you wanted for, you had a correct material for a ground or something and there was rocks and sticks and leaves and and pebbles and things like that and your height map looked good and it did in fact I'm actually gonna bring these two together okay just select them both here hit control E uh, and if you can see there's the original and let's say this is my height map so how do I get this height map into the alpha channel remember layers channels layers channels right they're different so this these are the channels here so I'm gonna just isolate this one hold alt here and click on the the eyeball so uh, this is my original and if I look over here at the channels you can see I have the RGB I have just the red I have just the green and I have just the blue and you can see there's a pr fairly drastic difference between them all uh, this is a very flat color here this green but you can see that this green has I don't know 50% gray uh, and the red uh, it's, it's very white in the green because there's more green there right and there's not that much blue so it's darker okay so these these three combined are making up this color here so what I do is I show this layer by itself and I come to my channels, I hold control, and I click on the thumbnail for the RGB. I don't want to do the red or the green or the blue individually. I want the average of all of them. Hit RGB, and then what you do is you hit this button down here, which is actually save selection as channel. And if there are no channels here already, it will automatically default that to the alpha channel. So if I hit control D here to deselect, and I look at the difference between my layers, if I select back and forth here, you can see there isn't a pixel of difference. Nothing changes. It's exactly 100%. And now, when I save this out as a TGA, I'll say replace. Uh, let's go ahead and close that. Nope, that was another test I was doing. So we'll say save as TGA, test tiles, we'll hit OK. Now before, before we actually um, hit OK. You want to make sure this is checked, alpha channels, just hit OK. And then you want to make sure you're 32-bit. If you do 24-bit, when you save it out, you won't have an alpha channel. This is how you capture the alpha channel. You hit OK. You hit zero, Control-0 zero there to zoom all the way out. I'll close it down with Control-W. Let's go ahead and open it up again. And shit. I lost my original because I didn't hide the layer. So what I can do is just paste that back in because I still had it copied from Google. All right, but um, yeah. The, so let me let me do that one more time. So if you already have an alpha channel, I suggest deleting it. Okay, show your alpha channel above anything else or by itself. Okay, go to your channels, hold Control and click the RGB, then hit this button right here that says Save Selection as Channel. Boom, you got it. You're done. Hide this. 
Okay, don't keep showing it because if you save out as this, this is going to be your diffuse texture. So that's why I screwed up. So I'm going to save as that. Okay. In fact, I'm just going to save now as TGA. Hit OK. 32 bit. Hit OK. Close it down. Reopen it. And as you can see, there's my original. You come to the channels. There's my hide channel. Hide map. Saved as the alpha. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, let me know. And it's Hippos. Sign off.